Good morning. This is Anointed Ministries. We'll start with a prayer, begin with a prayer. Father God, we thank you. We thank you this morning that we were, that you woke us up this morning. Thank you that we are able to share um, our Bible study on in our, in our um, quizzes that you have given us, Father. You gave it to us and we share it with the world. And we thank you that all of us are getting born again and um, our souls are saved and that you have shown us how to take care of our souls in Jesus name amen okay now um to for today we'll write in our notebooks first chronicles first chr period chapter 2 semicolon chap verse 18 through chapter 4 semicolon verse 4 and you'll read that in the evening acts chapter 24 semicolon verse 1 through 27 in the afternoon psalms ps period chapter 4 semicolon verse 1 through 8 you're gonna love that um read that in the morning Pro proverbs prov period Chapter 18, semicolon, verse 16 through 18. Read that in the morning. Okay? And then, we did have a scripture. We had a scripture for the day from uh, Pastor Kim Montgomery. Uh, the scripture that he gave us was uh, St. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 8. And it came from the NIV. I'm surprised. For everyone... Everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be open unto you. So today you shall, if you ask, you shall receive, if you seek, you shall find, and if you knock, you should, the door shall be open for you. So that was our scripture for today. Thank you, Pastor Kim Montgomery. And he's in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Um, our praise song, we had a little problem, um, was Help Me by Tamala Man. <laughs> we had a problem with all of them. They all sound so good. So let me see what the other one was. Tamala Man. Oh, and uh, Bishop Bishop Wyman's. Um, I don't feel no ways tired, and then tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. So our praise songs for the day were the praise song of the day was "What Don't Feel No Ways Tired" by Bishop Marvin Wyman's. And it's also tis so sweet to trust trust in Jesus. I love this song. Thank you, Bishop. Um, um, we had a song by um, Reverend James Moore. God will take care of you. And Tamla Man, help me, help me. That was good by Tamla Man. Okay. And let me see what else we gotta do. We said we was going. I said that I was going to go over the test with you, the quizzes with you. So, um, here are the here are the quizzes, and then I'll come back and and I'm gonna break the scripture down from yesterday, and then I'll come back and break the scripture down for today. Okay. Um, this quiz is on the twelve disciples. You have to unscramble it on this quiz. And I'm trying to make it where you can see it. These are the quizzes also that I'll be taking to Atlanta with me. And I will be evangelizing. So the, you have to unscramble each one. And here are the choices. And my uh, email address is anointedministry 
87 at com. I'm on YouTube channel, Sharon D. Arnold. Under Sharon D. Arnold. Um, and I created this on January the 25th. You see my symbol right here, my copyright symbol. So I hope nobody tries to copy it, which I doubt. It. I don't care. It's God's work anyway. Okay, so the first one is R-E-P-T-E. -E. And how you and the answers are on the back. So then the first one will be Peter. And here are all the rest of them. And you go back to the front and you unscramble the next one. This one looks like it's Matthew. M A T H E W. M A T T H E W. That's Matthew. This one looks like Philip. P H P H I L. It's supposed to be, it's one L. P-H-I-L-I-P is one L. But if you look on the back, number three is filled up. P-H-I-L-L-I-P. So I left out an L. So, quite surely you can put an L right there at the end. So let's do that right now. They have Philip spelled with two L's. I had it spelled with one L. Okay, so that's what you'll do. You'll unscramble this on this one. This is this is just the one on on the twelve disciples. All you have to do is unscramble it. And then the choices are down at the bottom, like I said. These are the choices. And then you turn it, flip it over, and the answers are on the back to see if you got it right. So God is beautiful. He is smart. And then this is who wrote the book. We started doing this before. So on who wrote the book. <clears throat> you'll put your name and the date you started it and then you'll put the date you completed it if you incomplete you'll like you started it on let's say you started on it today then you'll put today's date and you'll put every date until you finish and then your, your, your completion date will be last and then instructors comments that's my comments. If I have anything to say about um, the quiz. And then this is students' comments about the teacher and how she presented it to you and whether you understood what to do. So that's what that is. Okay, then here. Um, so the first one is um, First Peter. So, it's First Peter. Then you'll go to your sheet, and you'll find First Peter. Okay, here's First Peter down here. So, First Peter and Second Peter were written by Peter. So, when it says equal, that's who the author is. And then you can also look in the front of your Bible. I'm only going to do one on that one. You can look in the front of your Bible. Let's go to First Peter in our Bible. First Peter. Uh, I'm gonna hold this over the, over the test. Hold this over the test while I'm finding it. So the first one is First Peter. So first, second, and third. First and second Peter are together. So this is first Peter. I'm in first Peter. And if you look in the front of your Bible here, it says the first epistle of Peter. The first epistle of Peter. And it'll tell you who wrote it. If you read this, let me see. Um, down here, it says, only after submission is fully understood does Peter. So, that's where it tells you about who wrote it. And in, in this other book, 
other Bible I have. What's another Bible? Let me see this one. Okay, so. I'm trying to find. trying to find it, but uh, it doesn't say here. But anyway, Peter wrote it. Peter wrote 1 Peter, and he wrote 2 Peter. So, this epistle begins with the phrase, Petros, Apostles, um, Apost Apostles, Jesus, Christ, Christu, um, Peter, and Apostle Jesus Christ. This is the basis of the early title, Petro, the first of Peter. So, it tells you in the front of, your, of each book who wrote the book. Hold on again. I'm going to keep this over here. So, we're going to go to 1 Peter. That was the in the King James Version. We're going to go to 1 Peter in the... In the uh, NIV, in the front of the book, right in the right in the front of the book, you can read that little information that's right there. And it says the apostle Peter was one of the twelve disciples Jesus appointed. Okay. And. But it was Peter who wrote it. After the opening letter, it has three main sections. So you'll read this. And it's talking about, see it says here, Peter's letter was delivered by Cyrus. So it was Peter who wrote this letter. The first letter. Uh, <clears throat> Peter who wrote this letter so that was Peter so that's how you know you can read into it and find out um, then the next one so you'll put 1 Peter next to 1 Peter then you'll put 1 Peter next to 2 Peter You'll put Peter Peter next to First Peter, and then next to Second Peter, right there. You'll put Peter right there. Okay, now on Joel is the next one. Joel, you'll find Joel. Okay, I'm looking for Joel. Okay, there it is. So you'll find Joel on your paper, on the answer sheet. Joel equals Joel, 850 BC. So he wrote this before Christ. So Joel was, this was before Christ. So then you'll put Joel on your paper right there. And if you use your, if you use this, if you use your Bible and then uh, do this, you, it'll get in your memory, and you're going to remember it after a while. You're not going to have to use this any use this anymore. And you can take the test, the quiz, over and over and over again. And, well, first you can you take it using the Bible. And then when you're ready, you can take it over and over and over again without the Bible. Okay, now these I know by heart. So this test, this quiz right here, this is another quiz. This is on... True or false, place the F next to, on, in the blank. So, this one is uh, Genesis. You will look, and if you look in the table of contents in the front of your Bible, you can see that Genesis is in the Old Testament. So, you'll put, that's false, because Genesis is not in the New Testament. The next one is Exodus. Exodus is in the... Um, it's in the Old Testament, so that'll be true. Next one is Old uh, Leviticus. You look in your table of contents, and that's in, found in the front of your Bible. And you'll see that um, 
Leviticus is in the Old Testament, so that's true. Numbers. Numbers is not in the New Testament. So if you look, you'll see it's not in the New Testament. You'll put false there. Deuteronomy is in the, uh, it's not in the New Testament. So that'll be false. So that's how you do this quiz. And I prepared this quiz September the 4th, 2012. That's when I prepared this. When God first gave it to me. Okay. Next one. Oh, let me show you where the table of contents is. In case you don't know. This is the table of contents in the front of your Bible. It has all the books. In it, and it says Old Testament. So here are all the books that are in the Old Testament. Then you look here. Here are all the books that are in the New Testament. And then there's 39. This is the old, this is the table of contents, and it's in front in the front of your Bible. Then it tells you what page the concordance stores on. The concordance, my concordance said this is a the King James version, and this is a large print Bible, and my concordance is in the back of the Bible. So it's on page 1,357. It also tells you what page each book starts on. So. If you want to know uh, where something is right away, you can look and say each page. But well, we want you to try to do the quiz because that'll help you to, to remember too. So we're trying to help you to remember faster. And then God, God wants you to do this because God is the one that gave this to me for you to to do. Okay. Next one is on sections. And then we have one on abbreviations, and we have one on meanings. So, it tells you what each each one means. So, this one is section, and we, and we I showed you this one before. Okay, now, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. This is how you do this quiz. They're all in the Torah section. You'll put a T. They're in the Law section. You could put an L. They're in the P section, which is Pentateuch, and you could put a P. So you could, if you put, if you put T, L, or P next to this, next to each one of them, you will find you will have the right answer. So you'll go down to the bottom, and there's numbers. You see, I put a T, L, and a P. So if you had T, L, or P, that was the right answer. Then Leviticus, if you had T, which is Torah, L, which is Law, P, which is Pentateuch, you have the right answer. So Exodus, same thing, T, L, or P. Genesis, T, L, or P. Deuteronomy, T, L, or P. So let's go. All you have to do is put the first um, letter of the section, like with historical H. So if you if, when you see Joshua, Judges, Ruth, um, First and Second Samuel, First and Second King, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, they're all in the historical section. So you'll put an H next to them. And so that's how you do that quiz. Okay, so God bless you as you complete it. Then on the beginning, I mean the definitions, definitions of the book. Um, hold on, let me look here. Okay, definition of the book. We got a quiz on that. Definition of the book. We, we have a definition. You'll find that in the front of the Bible. The definition of the book. And it's called the first book of Moses. Moses wrote it. He wrote five books. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. And then now we want to know the meaning of Genesis. So we'll look here in the front of our Bibles. Genesis is a Greek word meaning origin, source, 
generation or beginning. So I have to find that, find that test. But um, I have the test and it's here. I got the answer sheet that goes with it. So God bless you as you complete them and complete each one of them. And I told you I was going to go over them with you. Now, next thing that I said I was going to do, but I try to keep my word. I'm a person of my word. So the next thing that I told you that we were going to do. Okay, now. I'm going to put it in my book. Hold on. In Chronicles from yesterday. Chronicles, first Chronicles from yesterday. I said that we were going to break it down. Okay, so. Uh, historical records from Adam to Abraham to Noah's sons. Okay, so. This is Adam. Seth. Enoch. Those were his sons. Um, Kenan. Mah Mahala. Mahala. Jared. Enoch. Methuselah. Lamech. Lamech. And Noah. The sons of Noah. So, on this one here. Okay. These are all Adam's sons. And then... Right here, Seth and Enoch. Then I think they had these. They, they had these sons: Kenan, Mahalia, Jared, Enoch. Uh, wait a minute. Enoch had. I think that's Enoch. Kenan, Mahalia, Jared, then Enoch had Methuselah. Lamech and Noah. So you'll have to go in there and read about it. So you can do now on here, you can underline Adam and Seth, Enoch, Canaan. So you have a lot to talk about. Mahalah, Mahalah, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah. He lived a long time. Lamech. Lamech, Noah, then here's some more. Sons of Noah. The sons of Noah were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. So you can write about you can um talk about them. You can go in there and find something on on them, and then you could just title it This is Adam, this is Seth, you know, or whatever. There's more to talk about. The sons of Japheth. You can say the sons of Japheth. And then Gomer, Magog, Medea, Javari, uh, Tubal, Meshach, and Tyrus. The sons of Gomer. So, see how they go in there? There's Gomer. And then here's his sons. <clears throat> so it's, it, it's it'll be easy to remember. Wait, wait a minute, and then with okay with Jeff Jeffet, they call the Jeff Jeffetites. So the sons of Jeffet, Gomer, Magog, those are Jeff's sons, and then the sons of Gomer. Those are Gomer's sons. The sons of Javan. But see, look, we got Goma, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshit. See, they're, in, they, they're going, they're just going right in order. The sons of Javan, and there's Javan. And you can under, underline all of these, and you can, that'll be a topic. All of You can make a topic, you can talk about Noah. You can have a message on Noah. Okay, then. This is chapter 1 to verse 1 and verse 2 and verse 17. 
So just go through there and start underlining most of that. Most of that will be what you talk about. Uh, the sons of Ham, Cush, Egypt, Put, and Canaan. You could talk about Cush. And then here's the sons of Cush. Saba, Havela, Sabra, Rama, and Sept Septica. So same thing. Sons of Rama, Sheba, and Dedan. Cush was the father of Nimrod. Cush. Who became a mighty warrior on earth. So you can go in there, talk about all oh, this. A lot of stuff to have a sermon on in First Chronicles. That's why I said you're gonna love First Chronicles. Then it's a chronological chronological uh, record. So it's telling you who had who, you know. It's telling you who had who. That's why it's so good. And when it goes into each one of them, that's what I like. Because it tells you that Methuselah, how long Methuselah lived and all that stuff. So, let me see. Mm, I think it's going into that over here. But this is First Chronicles and Second Chronicles are really good because it's a history, a historical history, a historical record from Adam to Abraham. And then here is, um, if you want to find it, you just look in First Chronicles and Second Chronicles. Um, here is the descendants of Sarah. Abraham was the father of Isaac, the sons of Isaac, Esau, and Israel. So Abraham was the father of Isaac. And then the sons of Isaac were Esau and Israel. So you just look in First Chronicles if you find want to find out who's who was their daddy and who was all um different things like that. You can't go wrong. Seer. The sons of Seer. Right there. The people of Sears in, in Edom. Okay, so we will be back to um, to break down our do our question and answer for Job. I'm sorry about that. I didn't do that either. And to break down our scriptures for today. We'll break down our scriptures and uh, if you want to, we can fin we can finish with uh, Chronicles. Because it's, it's really good. So I think that. Let me see. Hmm. We'll do Chronicles. And we'll, we'll just go through and do all of it. We'll start with Chronicles. And do a little bit of Chronicles. Do a little bit of Psalm. Do a little bit of Proverbs. And do a little bit of Acts. So you can see how it uh, is done. When you do all of it. So I'll be back. Um, I have to go to work today, so I got to get off here so I can get ready. So God bless you. May you have a blessed day. Uh, may God fill your heart with joy today. May God fill your heart with joy today. According to Psalm 4 and 7, according to Psalm 5 and 11. In Jesus' name, amen. And if you want to know what those say, Psalm 4. I like to say, I like to say what it says because it helps. So if your heart is is feeling down or whatever today. It'll be full of joy when you get the these are our joy scriptures. Anyway. Uh Psalm four and seven. Mm, it's not four. Psalm four and seven says 
you have put you have put gladness in in my heart more than in the time of their corn and their wine increased so that scripture right there is a joy scripture and if you're unhappy today it will fill you fill your heart full of joy psalm 5 and 11 but let all those that put their trust in me rejoice let them ever shout for joy because you defendest them let them also that love your name be joyful in you so that's script, that scripture will fill you full of joy and uh, psalm 4 and 7 will fill you full of joy so god bless you and you have a blessed day may you be blessed going in and blessed going out and may god use you may you get to your calling and I hope that I hope that I've helped you. And I will come back and show my picture so you can see who's been talking to you. Because sometimes I don't show it every day because I'm, I want you to mainly focus on on the word. So I'll be back and I'll show you my picture when I come back.